Hello, and welcome back. This is different. <laughs> yes, so um, I went ahead and a uh, little bit ago, a week or two ago, I don't quite remember, I went ahead and I did a little live stream. Because um, I wanted to tidy up this little entrance area, which I like it quite a bit more now than I did. <coughs> but I do still have some ideas of things that I want to change. Um, uh, I want to put a little statue right here in the middle uh, and probably move some of these tables and umbrellas and stuff like that. But we went ahead and moved some of this stuff so that there's a little bit more open space. It's a little courtyardy. And uh, I went ahead and got started working on our little reptile house. So <coughs> started putting in some walls and some pillars and got all of the um, exhibits that I think we're going to have here as well as... Uh, this cute little deco piece that I downloaded off the Steam Workshop ages ago that I've really loved. And we even have a little keeper hut and a little staff break room and a new keeper who is gonna just work on this area. Um, I think mm, that's about it for new that way. Um, yeah, I think today i want to add some more animals in oh and also i believe during the stream <coughs> we had another baby crocodile born little gunadi uh he's our first little boy crocodile um yeah so that's very exciting he also has some of the best stats actually of any of the crocodiles we've had born here so he may end up staying uh, in one of these pens instead of one of his sisters. Um, I haven't quite decided yet, but we have time because even his eldest sister, um, even his eldest sister, I don't think is too old. Little Sheila. Uh, yeah, she's only six and a half years old, so she's got a good little bit left before. Ooh, 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 come here, little Sheila. <coughs> she's got a bit of time before she grows up. Um, yeah, so I think we might start, um, moving forward with our zoo. <coughs> we might look at adding a few more exhibit animals to get people to come into here. Um, and I think we might look at, uh, tidying up this as well as finally finding a home for our little Nile monitors that I got ages ago. Um, and we may think about, uh, adopting some other animals because... I love the crocodiles, but I think the zoo could do with a bit more. Um, but I think first I might uh, do a little bit of moving of things. There we go. Oh, we've got some music going it sounds like. That's fun. put this guy like right over there and yeah <coughs> this is probably already quite a bit bigger yeah look at that it's got quite a bit more water area now this one is definitely the smallest though so we'll have to work on that one <laughs> <coughs> but let's see uh, I think that maybe right in here would be a good place for our little monitors and then we can have a little pathways going this way to this area which will eventually become something else um, but I think this would be a good little spot for our monitors, so let's go ahead and pop into the Zoopedia and finally add a new animal in. Let's go and see what the Nile monitors need. It's not a ton of space, I don't think. I also wanted to look at the Komodo dragon. How much space do you guys need? 600 meters. That's not terribly big either. Um... Oh, and these, these are new little animals, the Nile Luchi. Those might be kind of fun to add in. Nile monitors need 300 meters of land area and 75 meters of water area. 
They need a grade 2 fence that is at least a meter 1.65 feet. Oh, I think I changed the measurements from uh, metric to imperial because I am in America and... Oh no, everything else is still metric. I don't know. But they need... we'll probably give them a 2 foot fence uh, of a grade 2. And 375. So that'll be great. So let's go ahead and look at habitats. Let's look at some... no. Where? Barriers. Oh my gosh. It's been a minute since I've played, so please bear with me. Um, oh, the other thing we should check is um, if they're confident. Uh, they are confident, so we don't need to worry about the two-way glass. We can just do the one-way. And that'll be great. They're promiscuous. <laughs> Uh, we can have one male and up to two females, um, so for now we'll probably just keep our little breeding pair. They live for about 15 years, um, they are sexually mature at four years old, uh, they can have babies up until they die, they can have two to ten babies, which is pretty crazy, uh, and they gestate for ten months, and they take two years in between, but they're hard to breed in captivity, that's good to know. Oh, that doesn't matter. She won't give me. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get some barriers going. Um, so I think we will start them maybe like here-ish. And gotta be mindful of <laughs> our little Australia pack thing. Um, let's see, where's the length? Perfect. Alright, now we can make it a little bit longer again. Yeah, there we go. And I think I want it to go a tiny bit more than that. So, maybe we'll shrink it down again a bit. We'll do, like, another... Yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Eight. And then we'll go ahead and give them like something like that, maybe. And we'll see how much, we'll see how big that is. Um, but first we need a gate. Maybe we'll try a little glass habitat gate and we'll just stick it, we'll stick it in the back here for now. We'll stick it like right there for now. Um, and then uh, I believe one of the things that I want to do is to actually move all of this stuff over to here. So that might be functional um, to like reach here and here and maybe have some habitats sort of in this area as well, potentially. Um, although maybe not now that I'm kind of looking at it. Because um, I think, well, I don't know. We'll worry about that. We'll worry about one thing at a time. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and start by seeing how big this is. Um, 600, so that's plenty. We'll go ahead and give them a little bit of water since they are Nile monitors and they quite like swimming. We'll go ahead and give them a bit of a pool over here. And maybe we'll do another little one like over here. And I will have it maybe a little swampy over here. We'll try that. We'll give them some water. That might be a lot of water, actually. Maybe we will... Uh, maybe we'll raise the terrain a little bit. Give them a little, like... Ooh, that's very sharp. Maybe we'll give them, like, a little hill over here. Um, so that our... Our terrain isn't quite so boring. I should probably do that more. Um, <laughs> a little jut of land. I don't know. Just sort of mess with it. Have fun. And then we'll give them some water in there and some water in there. And yeah, I like that. That seems good. And let's see. So now we can take a look at the habitat and see how big it is. Um, awesome. That's great. That's plenty. 
home. Yeah. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So now we can go ahead and see what sorts of things a Nile monitor might like. Do do do. Nile monitor. Awesome. So we definitely need some food. What is that? Oh, it's a shelter. We can. Let's see. They have some water. I'll have to make sure that their water is safe to drink, but. Uh, it should be okay. And we'll go ahead and make sure that they have plenty of food. Uh, heaters and coolers they shouldn't need because it's nice and warm here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, we can give them a little shelter. I really prefer these little like wooden shelters to the like stone ones. They shouldn't need anything too too big so we can just pop one like right over there and they should be okay with that I think oops gotta remember the controls and we'll give them some little bedding material and a little bit of hay maybe just a, a little hay yeah there we go and then they're going to want some enrichment. So let's see, what sort of things would they enjoy? A little bamboo feeder, maybe? <clears throat> Ooh, a prey scented sack is always good, I think. Um, maybe we'll stick it up on this little hill kind of a thing. Oh, wow, look at that. There we go. A nice little, like, flat hilltop kind of a thing. Oh, and a rubbing pad. That could be really handy. Maybe we'll give it to them in the water over here. And let's see, what else? Oh, a little water jet enrichment. Heck yeah. Let's add a couple of those in. And we'll add a little rock one too over here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, our boa constrictor just had babies. And let's go ahead and check the water to make sure that, ah, okay. So this water isn't getting purified, so we're going to need to put another water filter somewhere. Or maybe I can... If I, like, swap sides... I may be able to make this work. Uh, I don't want to edit as a group. Let's see. Let me try fiddling with this a little bit. And then, let's see, if I go ahead and move, stop editing the group. If I edit the barrier, I should be able to move the door over here. Maybe? Okay, yeah. So... Go ahead and edit the door, move that there, and then I can remove a couple of these paths, which is might be good because it might give me a little bit more room for the crocodiles too. There we go. So we'll go ahead and back those paths off and then we will build the keeper path back up. Um, maybe I'll back it up one more actually. Oops, that's fine. <laughs> we'll just restart it entirely. Oh, man. Alright, well. We'll just have to wiggle it a bit. Okay, and let's see if that is enough now to do this guy. Again, don't want to edit it as a group. Let's see. Alright, it does fit. It needs to be fixed. So let's call a mechanic, and let's see if it reaches now. It looks like it just does. I think it should be okay, actually. Um, we will see if the water quality starts to go down. Um, we will just add another one. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> I believe also that our crocodiles are starting to get bored of their enrichment. They're getting really bored, so let's actually go ahead and 
we will add some new enrichment for our crocodiles and we'll remove some of the old enrichment that they're getting bored of. Um, so we will find our saltwater crocodiles. Let's see. Where are they? Uh, I went right by them. There we go. Saltwater crocodiles. So maybe we'll give them a blood pumpkin. That sounds kind of fun. Um, I'll give them a blood pumpkin. Yep, that went up. Uh, a little restraint feeder. Oh, a mud bath. We should absolutely give them a mud bath. They'll love that. Let's see, maybe we can stick it back in this corner somewhere. Yeah, there we go. And awesome, so that is their enrichment all nicely sorted. And... I think we may actually put this egg nest in. I've been thinking about it a lot, and I feel like it's cute and I like it. Maybe we'll... Oh, perfect. It's a light. I had no idea it was a light. Oh, it says it's a light. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, so then we will go ahead and we will remove um, these other enrichments that they're getting a bit more bored of. So like this little scent mark here. We'll go ahead and delete that, and the other thing that was in here, we deleted that. Let's see, the blood pumpkin, they like decently, the mud bath, they love. Um, is their enrichment happy? Okay, we'll give them one more thing then. Let's see, maybe we'll give them some little water jets. Hmm, they don't seem to like the water jets very much. Let's see. They're bored of their food enrichment. Could give them a prey scented sack or maybe a restraint feeder instead of the blood pumpkin. I guess it is sort of the same. Maybe we'll get rid of the blood pumpkin. Um... And we'll give them this restraint feeder. Um, and we'll stick that over here as well. Uh, right where the guests can all see. Uh, let's see. What do you guys think about that? Sheila is unimpressed. Alright, well they just don't seem to be interested in their food enrichment. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we should just take it out, honestly. Maybe they're bored of food enrichment in general, and they just want normal food. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll just take it out, and we'll let them sort of recharge a bit. Uh, but now they don't have enough enrichment. Uh, what about the prey scented sack? Do you guys like that? Nope completely unimpressed by that. Food enrichment. Oh, maybe we can try this little underwater fish feeder. Let's try that maybe. There we go. There's something new and exciting. All right. I actually haven't ever seen this thing, so I don't know how it works. I don't know how... Feet are not deep enough. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> if I could click on the right menu, that would be great. Underwater fish feet are flat, maybe? Let's see. I don't know how the keeper gets to it is the other thing. Like I don't I literally don't know if the keeper can get to it. Maybe we will um maybe we'll move it over to this side. The water's a little bit deeper over here too. Um it doesn't have any food in it. Uh food must be set on the habitat gate. Uh I guess when the keeper comes to give them food it'll fill that. Hopefully. In theory. Well, regardless, the crocodiles are now happy, 
So we, I think, can go back to turning our attention to the Nile monitors, which hopefully will also be very happy. Um, yeah. I kind of built, I was going to move the door over here, but I kind of built this habitat in a bad way. So uh, I guess we will just have to make do. We'll probably end up building another keeper area if I had to guess. Um, but I don't know if our Nile monitors will be included in this entrance area or the new area. Um, yeah, we could also put them in the reptile house area. But for now, I need to make sure that our keepers can get back there at all. So I guess we will go ahead and just do that. Um... And I think I want to change the back of this habitat so that it is a little bit less obvious. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we will just replace it maybe with this corrugated, I think. Um, it's a resistance grade 2, the dilapidation rate is low, and it's opaque, which is what I want. I don't want people to be able to see through it. And the fence is all two meters tall, which is well more than two feet. <laughs> uh, yeah, and maybe we will also throw in a little guest path so that guests can see a little bit better our Nile monitors. Make it nice and big. Find our little dirt path that I has just become the default here for this zoo, apparently. <clears throat> and we will we'll give the guests uh, an additional little viewing area here to come see our Nile monitors. And yeah, so I think the last thing to do is to go into our staff and our work zones and here we go, zoo entrance. So for now we will go ahead and we will add this guy. And I'm gonna take all of the reptile stuff out, I think. Cause I don't want our poor keepers to have to worry about the reptile house because I think we only have the one. Um, yep. We should also see if my staff wants any work. Let's see, low workload for our vet, low workload for our security guard. Our keepers are both doing well. We'll go ahead and give them some training. Our educator seems to be happy. We'll train her up. And let's see, our mechanic is good. We'll go ahead and train him up. Uh, our janitor is doing great. Uh, we still have some of our poor retail staff is a bit overworked, but doing a lot better, honestly, on the retail staff. So that's great. And we have a present. Uh, we earned 500 on our info center, great. Adopt a habitat species, we're about to do that. And guest numbers, this should hopefully help get our guest numbers way, way up. All right, let's see. So let's go ahead and grab our Nile monitors. Ugh. And we are going to put them right into this habitat. And then I think we should be able to start researching them, hopefully with our vet once they get, get arrived, I guess. Um, and our mechanic has done all of the research that we have for him, which is good because now he can go do important mechanic things. Which, speaking of, did he fix that? He did. Excellent. Uh, and while we're waiting, let us go into our animal list because I'm pretty sure we have, yep, a ton of snakes. So let's go ahead and deal with that real quick. Um, let's see, this boa constrictor is in the trade center. This boa constrictor can get, uh, released or sold, whatever it is. Um, oh, our male eastern brown snake is getting quite old. Let's see, so we might leave this male in there. Let's see, this one can get sold. Um, that's in the trade center. Okay, we don't have that many eastern browns so we'll go ahead and quick trade those guys and it looks like our Nile monitors have just arrived what do we think they're super already not impressed in the enrichment the ground is good though we might add a bit of sand for them though um, look at that straight into the water oh wow 
Um, painting, there we go. We might add a bit of sand. Um, just because there's a lot of grass in here and they don't really seem to care that much about grass. So we'll give them something nice and soft to dig into. They have just enough land area, so we might actually reduce some of the water in here. Um, because they've got more, way more water than they need. <laughs> They're not very big after all. Um, they're happy with the plant coverage, but we might throw a couple of little guys in. Um, but as for the enrichment... Oh, there's just no food enrichment. That's why. Alright. Uh, I think the blood pumpkin is good for them too, but we will go ahead and make sure that we get them exactly what they need. Nile monitor. Um, I give them... <laughs> could give them a dog ball. Um... Uh, that's really fun, actually. Maybe we will do that. Uh, we'll give them a little dog ball to play with back here. And now they're happy. Awesome. So yeah, let's go ahead and we'll throw a little bit of nature in. We won't go too crazy because they don't really like that much. But we'll go ahead and give them some, let's see, grassland and tropical plants from Africa. Like these little African daisies, which are really cute. I like them quite a lot. Um, we'll just be careful not to do too much. Just give them a couple of little clusters of daisies. And maybe a palm tree or two. A small one, preferably. A pine. These banana palms are always good. Give them a little bit of shade, maybe. And a little bit more privacy as well over here by their little shelter. Uh, we don't need any little baobab trees. I love a bird's nest fern. We'll pop one of those in. Or two, maybe. Uh, a couple of little lilies or lotus plants, maybe. Doing the lily pads is very finicky. That's a big old bush. Maybe we'll stick this and kind of hide the water a little bit. I probably won't do too much more. Um, this is just really cute though. I really like this. Uh, let's see. We'll just give them like a couple of reeds maybe, like these little tiny bundles. And let's see. This little dog rose bush over here by the water. And we'll probably call it just about good there. Oh, maybe a little bit of grass. Um, just a few tufts here and there. Sort of help entertain them. Oh, those are crazy. Elephant grass. Eh, it's kind of big. I think that feels pretty good. Um, they don't need too much. Just a couple, a little bit of like ground covery things is always nice. Um, just so they have something where they feel like they can get away and hide. Maybe we'll throw a little bit of papyrus sedge. <laughs> Uh, I need to I need to start putting animals in here that really like plants. There. I think that's plenty. We will call that good. And we've already got some people coming over here. We adopted our second habitat species, which is great. Um, and now we should... Let's see. Facilities. Uh, go ahead and make sure that our guests are taken care of. So, let's see. What is it? There is... where are... money? Here we go. So, obviously, gonna need some donation boxes so that our guests can feel moved to donate <laughs> to our lovely Nile monitors. Hopefully they come over here eventually. Um, 
Yeah. Awesome. And then we definitely want to get like some bins and some benches. Let's see, where is the... We have the Australian pack now, so we can start looking at stuff from there once I find it. Uh, New World bench, Indian bench, European bench. Where's Australia? Africa. Australia, here we go. Oh, here's a nice little Australia bench. Um, let's see. I wonder if I can just, like, stick it... Yeah... Oh, we should totally, like, make this a blueprint to, uh, have these benches here so that people can sit down. And then, oh, I really like these Australia bins, actually. So we'll go ahead and stick them, like, on the corners here so people don't throw trash everywhere. Is that what we've got? A little picnic canopy. Oh, that picnic canopy is really cute, actually. I like that a lot. Oh my god. They just took a picture. That was so cute. How do you guys feel? They're thirsty. Alright, well maybe we will put a drink stand over here. So this is... My plan is for this to be um, a guest area. And I wanted, I've wanted i been wanting to work on it. So maybe we'll start putting in some shops. So, you know, like some drinks and food. Um, I think I might move the little... Um, uh, the little gift stands, the little gift counters that I have, um, might move those. Um, I don't know where the shells live. Just the basic. Or if there is an Australia shell, we may need to make one, is the trouble. <laughs> uh, let's see, a gulpy energy, a gulpy slush, uh, a pip shot juice, a gulpy soda, smoothies, water... Street Fox Coffee. Street Fox Coffee sounds kind of fun. What is this? Oh, it's a restaurant. Well, we'll definitely have to um, play around with this at some point. Um, this is so interesting. Oh, I see, I see. Alright, well, we're not going to worry about that just yet. Um, but I do think that we should get a drink place so maybe maybe we'll get like a smoothie or a slurpee place it's a uh, it's very hot so i feel like a smoothie place might be a good idea um i wonder if i should put these on the ends or just all in the middle i'm kind of feeling all in the middle though let's see so let's go ahead and pop that down and where are you, where are you off to? Um, oh, it doesn't have any power. Okay. Hold everything. All right, we have a lot to do now. <laughs> okay, so let's think about this now. I, I didn't think about this, and it's coming back to bite me. Let's see, how far? Well, maybe we can get away with... Let's see, the wind turbine and the solar panel. How far does the solar panel reach? Not very far at all. The wind turbine, not very far. The power generator, the transformer. The transformer does reach pretty far. But, <clears throat> I'm wanting to have this be kind of a guest area. Like this is what I'm thinking will be the zookeeper area. I think I want to have another guest, like, entertainment, or not entertainment, education. So I'm thinking, like, we have the education center here. I think we'll have, like, another animal talk area here with a pathway going this way. Um, and then another uh, animal talk over here. And I think we can fit in another exhibit here and maybe one, like, over here, too. Um, <coughs> So maybe this is the spot. If I'm going to have the animal talk right here, maybe we build a little wall and we have another little zoo area. Um, and then maybe we make this its own kind of spot, more or less. There might be some overlap, but uh, I don't want the zoo entrance staff to get too overwhelmed. And you also don't want your facilities to be too far away from what they're servicing. Um, this is... Oh, we have a new challenge now. So guest numbers up... Receive a zoo inspection report of five, which... What was our last inspection report, actually? We got a four. 
We don't have any marketing. Maybe we should... Our guest happiness rating is awesome, though. Our animal rating is okay. Um, let's see. Uh, our education needs to be better. So again, this is why I want to get more of these little education stands, and we'll put some info stuff up here as well for the Nile monitors here in just a second. So that means that I need to I, I need to put another uh, zookeeper area somewhere over here. Uh, and so I think that's either going to be like here or somewhere back here. So let's see. I want a little animal talk area sort of over here. I think we may try and fit like the caimans or the gharial over here. And then maybe whatever we don't fit there, the caiman or the gharial. The other one can be over here. And then I think maybe we'll do the Komodo dragons. Like I want this to be the reptile area. And I do one day want to get an American alligator. Um, up this hill, I want to have a different area up this little plateau. So I don't want our reptile area to expand up that way, but it could expand out this way here. And then this zone, once we get into these little, this little stand of trees, is something else that I want to do, moving towards uh, this little line in the sand that I've drawn. Um, this little structure or structure, this little land feature is something else that I want to do. I have lots of ideas. We'll get there, though. Um, so this could be part of the anim or the reptile area, or I might end up, because I think this is going to be like one or two things, it might be its own area, or it might be part of the reptile house. I'm not really sure. Um, but I don't want to expand too far this direction um, until without getting into that other area that I want to do. And we'll probably have another guest area, like, over here-ish somewhere. Uh, getting into more animal exits up here, and we might also have some shops and bathrooms and stuff over here. Ah, bathrooms. That's another thing I need in here for sure -sies. Um, We'll figure that one out. So, yeah, path over here, exhibit over here, animal talk, zookeeper stuff over here for this area, and maybe a couple of these or all of these. I don't know. But... This all remains that I still need more power. I guess I could stick the power over here because I don't think I'm going to have guests come straight back this way. So maybe that's what we'll do. And I'll, I'll put off making decisions for another day. Um, let's see. Ideally, I would like to do renewable energy. It just doesn't reach very far. Um, the wind turbine almost reaches, but I also am going to need power to this whole area pretty much. Um, so how far does the transformer reach? Even the transformer, I don't know that it's going to reach far enough for what I need. A working lighthouse. There's power and water. Um, let's see. There's a little shed here. That's actually really cute. It's like a little zookeeper shed. And I think it's just, um... I think it's power. Uh, let's see, do I have anything else fun? The staff building. Lots of staff buildings. Oh yeah, that's the water. Uh, I think. Um, what does this look like? Whoa, it's massive. It doesn't really go, unfortunately. Um, now the nice thing is the wind turbines and the solar panels don't have a negative effect or they have a much smaller sorry they have a much smaller negative effect on the guests so, which means that I can put them a lot closer than the other stuff and I could hide them like I could maybe even get away with sticking like a wind turbine eh, maybe not I don't know Oh, the solar panels have no negative impact, though, so maybe we'll put some solar panels down. Um, they just don't reach very far is the trouble. Um, I didn't leave myself a whole lot of room <laughs> over here, unfortunately. Uh, and I don't know that they'll fit back here. Maybe they will. Maybe I can just squeeze in a solar panel. And we'll try and hide it with, like, some trees and stuff, even though that defeats the purpose of solar panels. Wow, I can't believe I f that fit. Um, let's see, and so that reaches... Oh gosh, I have to remember, it's the double click. That reaches over to here. 
which would be probably just far enough. Um, I might have to put another solar panel or something. Um, or maybe even another transformer like over here in the, the staff area. But that's doable, like over here. And it would still cover most of what I need it to. So we might end up doing, we might end up doing that as well. Um, and we'll just, uh, just stick this guy, like, right over here for now. <clears throat> and that should cover our water. And then eventually I'll probably get another zookeeper station over here because this is going to be a big area probably. Um, and then we might add more water filters because I am worried about the water quality. But it, it seems to be doing okay. Um, yes, now, where were we? Um, so now this should have power. I am going to need to add in a staff room, um, over here probably because this is a lot, this is a distance to walk, but maybe we'll go ahead and lay down these paths, our nice, our lovely little guest paths. Right over here. And we can, that way we can define how far, oh wait, that's the width. Uh, come on, eight, length. Oh, the length is one. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, that's about where I wanted. And this will be a good spot, I think. Maybe we'll do one more. One more little path. And then this will sort of dead end into a wall that we will put over here. Let's see, we can edit this barrier. Make it concrete. There we go. Lots of little things to fix and tidy. Um, but yeah, so this will be a little animal education station. We'll probably fiddle with these fence lines a little bit to try and get a bit more. And then this area, depending on how big it can be, will be like um, shortly before we hit this wall. So like in here, uh, it'll be for a gharial or a caiman and maybe we can even fit an alligator in one day. Um, yeah. <clears throat> let's see. All right. So let's go ahead and put the... Uh, put it back. You! Go back. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Alright. And what else do people want? They're not feeling very educated. Oh yeah, we definitely need to do that. Alright. Uh, uh, education. Here we go. Let's see. Where are our little signboards yeah there we go so we'll go ahead and put down a couple of little signboards maybe we'll put one like sort of in the middle here uh and we'll put them on either end that's so cute that the guests like take pictures now oh my gosh i love that so much um let's see we'll put one right over here <coughs> And then we'll go ahead and pop one on over here. So people are going to be super educated about our Nile monitors. All right. Let's see. Nile monitors. Ba -da -da. Nile monitor. And... Nile monitor. There we go. Now people are going to be educated. Excellent. <clears throat> people are already stopping at our smoothie place that's excellent as well um oh our nile monitor is about to mate Ooh, look at that oh love is in the air for our reptiles let's see did we succeed um no it doesn't look like it so they did mate which is good but it doesn't look like they actually, oh god, are going to have any babies. But that's okay. 
Um, they also don't have a zookeeper assigned to them. Oh my goodness. Um, okay. Wait, yes they do. Um, because they're in the right staff area. But maybe I'll go ahead and hire another zookeeper. I don't know. Let's see. If they start to get not healthy... Um, Uh, but we do want to research them. So we'll get our vet doing that for now. <clears throat> Let's see. What are, what are people feeling? They're thirsty. Uh, this person needs the toilet pretty badly. So we definitely want to get a bathroom going. So maybe we'll... I think we'll put it like in the middle. Because I think that eventually we'll have like... Uh, an exhibit over here and an exhibit over here and we'll put the bathroom right in the middle so let's do that let's see guest facilities bathrooms and now I should have an Australian toilet somewhere here we go Australian toilet large a cave market uh, I gotta look at some of these blueprints that I have um, Wow, that's really cute. All right. So we'll go ahead and get this nice big bathroom here for our guests so that they have... Whoa! It came to life. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. All right. That's awesome. I love that. That's great. Um, and now our guests have somewhere to go to the bathroom. This person is thirsty. Maybe we'll put down a couple of drink spots. This person needs the bathroom. People don't seem to be very hungry, but they are a little tired. I think maybe we'll put in, like, either the coffee or the water. Because um, I want to give them energy as well. And I do think we should put in a food as well. Um, let's see. What would be a good? This bakery is really cute. It's really big, though. I think we'll wait on the bakery. Um, let's see. Bernie's Bakes. Chief Beef, I think, is what we have down there. Ice cream could be really fun. Hot dogs. Mexicalente. Missy Good. Monsieur Frite. Pizza Pen. People aren't super hungry, so maybe we will put the ice cream in. Because it is definitely hot. Um, so maybe we'll put... Uh, we will put, like, the little ice cream shop. Um. <clears throat> okay, people are definitely hungry, too. Uh, I kind of want to put the coffee down. Um, vending machine. Vending machine pip shot. That's the water, right? Pip shot water. Maybe we'll put a vending machine down for the water so people can just, like, buy themselves a water bottle. Um, I don't know where to put it, though. But I, I think I want to put down the coffee. Uh, where is it? The Street Fox coffee. There we go. And I think we'll stick that down here so people can get some energy. Uh, yeah. And I think the other... I think I want to keep like the food and stuff on this side. And then we'll put merch stalls. Like we'll probably put... I don't know if we'll put the counters or if we'll put uh, the little shops themselves but we'll put something down um, oh here's the little here's some of the little storefronts the African shop oh here we go here's the little shop fronts where's the front of it where does the shop go oh there it is oh it's two of them I see Australian shop small these are really, really cute. I like the big one. I think we'll put this shop shell down. Um, and we'll go ahead and... Hmm, I don't know. We'll put it like there-ish, maybe? It's going to overlap onto the back of the path, but hopefully that's okay. And we'll put little souvenirs in there. Um, we got our report... Um, let's see. How did we do? I don't think we got five stars, but, uh, let's see. Pretty much the same. We just need to up our education. Um, oh, and we need to rename our new habitat as well. Totally forgot about that. 
Not habitat. Facilities. So, let's see. What do we got? Um, if we hide the blueprints, we can see that we only have three stores. So... Let's see. Oh gosh. Eh. So we got just a memento and then uh, let's get another hat shop, I think. Sure. We'll put them in as the group. Um, there we go. <coughs> A little cassowary crossing sign. That's really cute. Maybe we'll move the bathroom over here, actually. Um, let's see. People seem to be doing good. This person is super thirsty. Um, these people have ice cream and they want the bathroom now. I think we should put another like proper food place. Uh, we've got the ice cream. So maybe, maybe we'll do the Mexican. This is gonna be like a real food court kind of a thing. Lots of options for people. And a lot more staff for me <laughs> to worry about. Um, let's see, so we did the merchandise already, the bathrooms. We could do another info center, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. <laughs> I definitely think we want um, some ATMs though. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and pop one over here as well in case people need the ATM. And then I think we will go ahead, because people seem to be very thirsty, I think maybe we'll put a couple of these drink vending machines. Like the little pip shot water vending machine. And let's see. Um, maybe we'll just put two of these right here in the middle yeah all right this place is turning out to be much bigger i think than it needed to be <laughs> um but that's good to know um i think let's see if we can squeeze our little bathroom in here there we go perfect it's got this cute little uh, plants on the side. It hides this, but that's okay. Um, look at these cute little hanging plants. I love that so much. This is going to be a great spot for our guests. I'm, I'm excited for them. <laughs> so we'll definitely need to decorate uh, this area a lot better because it's boring. Oh my gosh. Mustika, you guys are just popping out babies. Um, let's see. Where, um, where are your children? Sheila. Sheila is hungry. Um, I think we need to hire another keeper. Also, how old are you? She's eight years old. Um, let's go ahead and hire another keeper, because our poor keeper, I think, is overwhelmed. Um, and I also think that we are going to go ahead and make a new zone which means I'm gonna need a break room which I think is gonna end up being back over here um, we'll go ahead and get the vet research going we've done some more research on the Nile monitor that's great I don't know why I'm looking at the African wild dog um, let's go ahead and Call the keeper urgently over to here as well because I think our Nile monitors are not getting fed for whatever reason. Um, but then I will we'll go ahead and give a new break room for all of the staff that I just hired in. <laughs> so let's see. Staff facilities. Um... I need a break room, a staff room. I need the biggest staff room you can get me, basically. There's a large staff room. 
Excellent. All right, so we'll do the we'll do the little Australian large staff room because it's cute. Look at it. Um, and it also having these staff rooms like this gives less negative impact to the guests. Um, and it's going to be kind of close to them. Maybe I'll put the little education seating first. Because um, I don't want them to overlap. So, let's see. We'll go ahead and do these little bleacher seats here. Oh, okay. I had more room than I thought. We'll do like there, maybe. And yeah, that gives plenty of spots for the path. And we'll go ahead and sort of there. All right, perfect. So that'll be that'll be our our seating in the future. And for now, we can worry about our staff facilities and just get them thrown down real quick. Get a nice big break room and a keeper hut. Definitely gonna want a keeper hut. That's cool too. Um, maybe we'll make another little path that goes back more. Since so I'm running out of room already in this little area. <laughs> um, yeah, what else do I need? A quarantine I don't need. A vet surgery is probably not a bad idea. Um, research center, maybe. Um, a facility is without power. These guys? I'm gonna have to put another freaking, um, let's see, a workshop, maybe, a trade center, I don't need. Well, let's go ahead and see about, um, one of these. Maybe I can squeeze it in. Wow. I can't believe that fit. <laughs> okay. Now those should have power. Awesome. Alright, we are going to have to wrap it up for this one pretty soon. So I think the last thing that I am going to do is I'm going to make a new work zone. And we're going to go ahead and get all... Oh, come on. We're going to get all of this stuff. And all of this stuff. And our crocodile is about to have more babies. Oh, and I definitely need to add that back into the other thing. And we're going to call this... Um, let's see. Um, I don't know. Guest Plaza, how about, for now? Because that seems to be the, uh, the consensus. Um, Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take uh, our zookeeper here. And we are going to assign our new zookeeper to Guest Plaza. Um, and all of the... Hmm. All of the vendors, I think, should have ended up... Uh... Oh, they didn't. Alright, well... That's going to be a lot to go through. Uh, and we are running out of time. But now at least we have a zookeeper and we'll go ahead and get a vet as well. Uh, go ahead and get a vet and I guess we should probably get a mechanic. Um, and maybe a caretaker. Um, and we're going to add all of them to this zone of the zoo. Um, yeah. All right. Oops, I didn't need to do that. I needed to go in here. Or in here. No, here. And we're gonna take all of these people and we are going to put them in the guest plaza. All right, and I think that that is going to have to do it for us. Let's go ahead and to wrap up, let's go ahead and find our newest baby crocodile. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Yes. We got a new little baby boy. Let's take a look at him. Uh, here we go. Look at this little baby boy. He's really cute, actually. Let's go ahead and take a look. 
He is less than perfect. Um, he's not as good as his brother, so this one will probably be one that we will trade away. But don't you worry, little guy. I'm sure you'll go to some wonderful breeding program somewhere else. And don't you hiss at me. <laughs> You've got plenty of time before you need to head on out. Your sister, on the other hand, is probably getting up there. Um, where's little Sheila? Oh, Sheila's hungry. Here's Sheila. Yeah, Sheila's nine, so in just a couple more years, Sheila is going to need to move out. Um, she was our firstborn in the zoo, so we may move her into here, but I kind of have a dream of having an albino crocodile in one of these. Um, and so unless we get one of those born, we'll have to buy it. Um, but maybe we'll get a, an albino male, and uh, he can be her, her mate. But that's... Um, that's for another time. Wow, our money is starting to go down. Uh-oh. We're still profiting. I think I just spent a lot of money buying a lot of, um, <laughs> buying a lot of restaurants. We'll go in and we'll have to look at those. I may do another stream to, like, work on decorating this area. Um, the reptile house is super not done, so we may do a stream to sort of finish that up. Start populating it with more animals. Um, who hopefully won't get out of hand in their breeding. Uh, they seem to be doing okay um, so far, which is good. But yeah, that is going to have to do it for us for this one. Uh, we've just made a big improvement here, uh, and we're definitely going to be looking for more animals to add into this area and start really expanding this little reptile area, hopefully pretty soon, once we get it looking all nice and pretty and stuff. Um, but yeah. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like uh, if you've been liking it. Leave a comment if you have suggestions, animals you want to see in the zoo. If you have any guesses for what uh, ideas I have for different areas, feel free to leave those in the comments. Um, yeah, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you know when the next one's going to come out. Uh, I've currently been streaming on Twitch TV uh, at Kith Request on Twitch TV slash kith request um i it will be linked in the description don't you worry um i may move over to youtube streaming at some point i don't know if you guys like the streams i'll do them more uh if you don't like them then i won't but rest assured if you miss the streams the vod's will be uploaded and in fact the one that i did just before this it has already been uploaded so worry not if you wanted to see all of the work of uh putting together the reptile house and redoing the entranceway a little bit um be sure to check that out um otherwise i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time Bye bye